live from VTech Academy Garage. It's Three Minute Thursday. <laughs> So Michael starts out, hello again. I was very pleased to see my question answered here. And he uh, references a video we did uh, talking about the reverse lockout. He's got uh, an element, element that's converted to six speed and uh, he has an ECU that doesn't have reverse lockout. And basically I talked about uh, things you can do in order to uh, get a reverse lockout. Anyway, he says, uh, I watched the video and thought of an even easier way to potentially do or make this work. I wanted your take on it. Would it be possible to wire the RSX lockout solenoid to the brake lights or reverse lights in my converted Honda Element? Uh, I think the ground cables can be wired to basically anywhere on the chassis. And, and what he's talking about is, is wiring the ground for the reverse lockout through a relay. So uh, yeah, any circuit that turns on, like brake lights, reverse lights, you could have it op um, activate the reverse lockout. Anyway, it says, if this would work like I think it would, the mechanism would only engage and you would only be able to get in reverse if you were on the brake. I don't see people on the brakes when they're intending to go into six gear, bottom right in the pattern, so this could be a cheap and good solution. Yes, um, it would work. Uh, basically, uh, not for reverse, by the way, because you can't get into reverse with a re reverse lockout working, but you could do it with the brake lights. And I agree that most of the time when you're on the brakes, you're not going to be moving over from fourth into fifth or from fifth to sixth. So uh, that that could be okay and might work well. I think people who race probably don't want to do something like that because uh, they're quite often on the brakes, not so much to slow down, but to settle the car down. So that might not be a good time to release the reverse gate. Uh, but uh, I think for street use, I think it would work absolutely fine. So, uh, so yeah, absolutely. Give that a try. Um, and then uh, he also uh, talks about having found a pigtail to do this. Uh, obviously, sounds like somebody else is already doing it. Uh, he found something on eBay. But anyway, uh, he has uh, two other questions. Uh, and one of them is, uh, what is your opinion on using Syncrotec parts? I've read conflicting things ranging from the parts are great to I'm a Honda mechanic and I've had nothing but problems with customers' transmissions that have Synchrotech synchronizers and rebuilt kits. Well, I've only ever used them once and I've only ever had Hasport use them another time. Uh, I have them in a B16 transmission, which I did not build, and the transmission works absolutely fine, but the transmission's only got about 5,000 miles on it. so. Uh, time will tell if it's, it gets any worse. The other time we've used them, we have used them to rebuild some B-series transmissions where it's very difficult to find parts for it. And uh, one of our mechanics, who was a 25-year Honda mechanic, had no problems with them whatsoever, was able to install them fine. So I, I can't really say that I've had any negative uh, uh, experiences with the Syncrotec, although I have heard of other people who have had problems with it. So uh, uh, I'm pretty neutral on my opinion with them. All right, and his other question is, uh, for 2009-2010 Element, would this, and he names a Syncrotec rebuild kit for uh, 06 to 10, uh, master rebuild kit, or the uh, other carbon master rebuild kit for 6PK series from 05 to 15? He wants to know if either one of those kits would be the right one to use in his element. Well, there's, that, that's quite a bit of work to figure that out. I mean, I would start off, uh, if this was my car and I wanted to use Syncrotec to rebuild a transmission that they're not saying that they rebuild, what I would do is I would call or email Syncrotec and ask them my particular application. Now, quite often when these people develop these kits, they have a very specific, a very specific uh, uh, application they're looking for. So they may or may not know whether it'll fit your particular application. So the only way to figure that out is to go on the Honda website and the Acura website and download the individual part numbers for, um, for your transmission, plus the transmissions that are listed here that these rebuild kits are for. If the part numbers are the same, that part should work. 
if the part numbers are not the same, you're going to have to try it to find out if it does. Um, I have not done this, but if it was me that was doing it, that's how I would figure out whether or not these part numbers that you're asking about are going to work for you. Uh, that's going to probably require you to spend a half hour, 40 minutes at the computer, writing and comparing part numbers, uh, but it's not a terribly difficult job to do, just a little bit time consuming. Anyway, uh, I hope that answered your questions and thank you very much for uh, sending us questions. And uh, thanks again for joining us on this three minute Thursday, which is probably more like six minutes by now. And uh, we'll talk to you guys next Thursday. Thank you.